everyone, this is Brian with Diamond Audio again. Today we're going to talk about the digital controller for the LEDs on the HXM F4 series and the SM F4 from Serwin Vega. These are have LEDs in the speakers, but they are a digital controlled LED, so your standard LED controller kits won't work for them. You need to specifically use the DA LED LC from Diamond Audio, or if you're doing Serwin Vega, you would use the RPM D LED. Now they are interchangeable, they, they will work either way. So if you can't get the Diamond model number, you can use the Serwin Vega model number. Uh, the speakers, however, are very different. So if you're do, used to buying Diamond, you will want to buy the Diamond. Uh, the, Sorwin Vegas have some different specifications on them, so they're not exactly the same. Okay, but the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the Symphony Show app that you can see here in my phone. Now I already have it downloaded, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to open it up. Okay, and one of the first things you want to do is you want to turn the LEDs on. Now what's going to happen when you first power them up, I've already had these powered up before, but what's going to happen when you first power these up is they're going to start cycling colors. So the first thing you want to do is come in here and hit this little gray button and turn them on. Okay, and you'll see they're flashing in a pattern here. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to go into the settings right here in the bottom right. It's the little gear that says settings. You want to make sure you adjust the line sequence. So set red for red, green for green, and blue for blue. If you don't, they'll be out of order. Okay, and then you hit confirm. I've already done this, so I don't need to do it again. Then you're going to go back to the count configuration, which is the second option in the list here. Now you want to set up for how many LEDs you're running in the total setup. The controller will take up to eight speakers on this controller. Okay, so if you're doing that, if you're only doing six like I have here, you're going to need to set it for 90. There are 15 LEDs in each one of the speakers, doesn't matter which size they are. So we have the six, the eight, and the six by nine, and there's 15 LEDs in each one. So you're going to set your total count for 90. Okay, then if you want to set lights in a certain mode, so like I have it set for 15, so each speaker operates in whatever mode we set up. Okay, you can reduce that and it will move a little differently. But you can play around with that and get it how you like it. After each adjustment, click confirm on each one and that will be set. Once you've done that, you can go back out and you can go to the color options. And now you'll see you just tap a color. There's white, there's green, there's yellow, there's an aqua blue or a light blue. There's red, there's purple, there's darker blue, and there's orange. Now the other thing you can do, because this is RGB, you can get up here and there's a little circle right there at the top that you can see, and you can grab that circle and you can move it around and you'll notice it changes colors wherever you put it. Okay, so wherever you want to put that, it's going to change colors. You want it lighter or you want it white, you bring it into the middle. If you want a lighter purple, you know, whatever you're trying to do, you can kind of get those colors. So you just move it around wherever you want it and that's where it's going to end up, okay? The other option you have is you go into mode and here you can select two different colors and then you can have it cycle. And so that's what I was doing earlier. So I'm going to set red and I'm going to set blue and then depending on how fast you want it to go, you can move the speed up and down and the brightness. So this up here is the brightness, okay? So you can see it getting duller. And then you can move it all the way up and get it really bright. And then if you want to adjust the speed, you just move it up and you'll see that it gets faster and faster and faster until you get all the way to the top and it's like, does this really weird strobe type setup, okay? So there you go. The other thing you could do is if you wanted to launch some music, you can go in here, you can hit pause, okay, and it'll pause. You hit play, it'll go again. 
you can add music to this so you could go in here and connect to your music and the lights will play in time with the music okay so let's see um, I don't know if it's playing anything there oh it's playing so it's going off of Van Halen AFU from my playlist and you can see that it's flashing in in time with the music Okay, so then you can just go back over here if you want to go back to solid colors. We'll go back to white for now. All right, so that's what I really wanted to show you guys is just how this all works and goes together. So what you'll have is you have three wires and then on a little pigtail here and you wire that in to each speaker. You'll get a pigtail on with the speaker as well. Uh, and so you just tie that all together. I just have them soldered end to end right here so I didn't because I didn't need any more length if you're running them on a bike you will probably need more length for some of them and you'll have to extend that out okay but then they just plug in and then they plug into the controller here I don't have a lot of length on the controller so I'm not moving it I can probably zoom this down in on it for you here let's see what we can do so on the controller you can see there's just little plugs and it plugs into each each socket takes one speaker Okay, and then you have a power ground and remote that connects to the bike. All right, so this is something that we really wanted to show because we've seen some issues with this and, and there's been some questions about how well it works and how it works. So I wanted you guys to see this and, and get an idea of how it works. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. You can email me at brian at dat-cvm.com. Or you can find us on the web, on Facebook. Uh, there's a couple of different groups that we're in. Uh, the Diamond Audio Motorcycle Group uh, is the best way to find us if you don't email us. But uh, other than that, that's really what I wanted to go over for this. Uh, we'll get into more in-depth on the speakers themselves, and on, the, on the audio side of it, and how they perform at a later date. All right, guys. Thank you so much, and look forward to talking to you all again very soon.